Thanks for stopping by for another video. If this video is of any help and you want to support the channel, please take a quick moment to subscribe and drop a comment and a like. Today we're tying up the scruffy brassy. In the vise we have a Moonlit Tagata ML201 hook. And you can tie these in a wide variety of sizes. In this video we're tying it up on a size 12. Go ahead and grab some wire. We are using some 0.3 millimeter side by wire and copper. You're gonna tie that in right at the eye of the fly and go ahead and trim off any excess that you have on there once you have it all tied in nice and tight. Now we'll go ahead and make sure everything's locked into place and we'll, we'll add a whip finish or just a quick half hitch by using our fingers and setting our thread over on the cradle bobbin. Or the cradle rest, excuse me. And we're gonna go ahead and use our rotary feature to make some nice tight touching wraps towards the back of the hook. We're gonna keep going until we get to just a little past the beginning of the curve of the back end of the hook. And as we get back to the point where the hook point is showing, just be careful not to accidentally snag yourself on that, especially if you're using a smaller sized wire for smaller versions of this fly. Now that we've gone a little bit into the bend of the hook, you're gonna see that I start wrapping my thread forward here. And I'm gonna do some open spiraling forward wraps, trying to keep the spacing relatively uniform and keep that tight so that you have a nice tight body and you don't have any big gaps in your wire. Now that I'm up to where the thread is was tied in and that was my tie-in point for my wire, I'm gonna grab my thread off the bobbin rest and I'm gonna go ahead and do some crossing wraps and wrap around that wire to make sure I get it locked in nice and tight. And I'll use an old pair of scissors and trim off the, and you could also helicopter it off if that's the style that you want to go with. Now I'm just flattening down the tag ends of my wire. And then I'll go ahead and throw an extra couple of wraps to sink everything in nice and tight. That's one advantage of using this uh, thread that I'm using, the Semperfly 30 denier or 18 knot thread. It allows you to do a lot of wraps without adding nearly any bulk at all on the head of the fly. So now I just went ahead and set in a dubbing loop or a loop to create a dubbing loop and I'm going to go ahead and cut up into small small pieces some leech dubbing from Fly Tires Dungeon and Castle Black which is available on the website in a whole bunch of colors. So once I have that in there I'm going to go ahead and spin up a sparse amount in that loop and that'll allow those fibers to be trapped nice and tight. Now that they're trapped in there, we're going to go ahead and start wrapping this around the eye of the fly. No, not the eye of the fly, wrapping this behind the eye of the fly creating a small dubbing head and we'll preen the fibers towards the rear so that they don't poke every which way once we get closer to being done. So now we're preening them back just a little bit. And this is why it's key to have this be a sparser noodle in this dubbing loop so that it doesn't build a ton of bulk and go crazy on you. And then go ahead and grab your thread once again. And we'll do some catching wraps to lock the thread from the loop in place. Trim out the remainder part of our dubbing loop. 
being careful not to cut off any of the fibers from this. And I'm going to clean up a couple of the longer fibers from the dubbing that we just had. Now go ahead and grab your whip finish tool and add in a whip finish. And because this thread is so thin, it's easy to do a second dub or a second whip finish to make sure that everything stays locked in place. And now I'll grab just a tiny, tiny drop of UV resin to help further lock this fly into place. Now grab your UV light and go ahead and cure that resin and you have a completed fly. Please swing by the fly shop and grab a couple of these, add them to your box. Thanks. Bye-bye.